a Brady Bunch with a special connection. Some South Florida quadruplets celebrating a milestone. Four sisters walking across the same stage today, receiving their high school diplomas. Seven's Alexa Helms was there for their memorable moment in Coral Gables. Four girls anxiously waiting backstage before their high school graduation, helping each other pin their caps down and look picture perfect before their big moment. The girls have spent countless special days together. Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Easter, Hanukkah. Our birthday, <laughs> Hanukkah. <laughs> Graduating from Southwest Miami High School is just another one on the list. You might say Emma, Rebecca, Elizabeth, and Rachel are more than sisters. They're quadruplets who have been in the public eye since they were born. And they've all had their unique individual personalities from the get go. Emma is kind of lazy. Rachel, she's pretty outgoing. Rebecca is very curious. And Elizabeth, all that wonderful hair on Elizabeth. Not much has changed. Biology or music? Okay. Musical therapy. What? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I think something with sciences or so sociology. Rebecca and Elizabeth are in the choir. Emma plays a French horn in the band. Not even their classmates knew they were quadruplets until this year. So no one found out until when? Until the yearbook came out. Yes, exactly. They say that's because being a quadruplet isn't always easy. We have a lot of clothing to choose from. And then sharing rooms, that's bad. We don't get along, that's horrible. And they are each very unique. They don't always agree. Even deciding on a song choice was, well, difficult. I'll start it. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Emma Karina Tablada. But no matter how different, they'll always share their unique bond and all of their special moments, like finally getting that hard earned diploma with the people they love the most. Um, getting together with our family and just celebrating life. Now all four of the recent grads say they'll be attending Miami-Dade College this fall. Now they still have a few things to figure out. The first one, their class schedules, and the second one, how all four of them will be splitting one car. Reporting from University of Miami in Coral Gables, Alexa Helms, 7 News.